Canadian speed skater and four-time Olympic medalist Denny Morrison remains in a U.S. hospital tonight as he recovers from a stroke that he suffered on the weekend. It happened shortly after Morrison finished a 25-day, 1,200-kilometer bike ride from Arizona to Utah. A teammate recognized the signs of a stroke and took him to hospital. This is his second major health issue in a year. Nearly a year ago, he was in a serious motorcycle accident that nearly ended his speed skating career. For his part, Morrison seems to be in pretty good spirits, tweeting out, Just stayed in the most expensive hotel in the world, a U.S. hospital. So this story got a lot of us talking about strokes, particularly among relatively young people. So we brought in Dr. Dan Keller, the head of the emergency at uh, St. Paul's Hospital here in Vancouver. How unusual is it for an uh, otherwise healthy 30-year-old to have a stroke? It's pretty unusual. We don't see a lot of them, but we do see them from time to time. It's interesting because I think of it as an old person's disease. Yeah. And, and so with somebody that's young, obviously you're not uh, Denny Morrison's uh, doctor here, yeah. but sort of generally from what you see in the emergency room, what kinds of things would lead to, to a young person like that getting a stroke? Yeah, see, I mean, a stroke really is an, it really reflects the fact that part of the brain is not getting enough blood supply. So with older people with narrowed arteries and plaques in their artery, they can just get blockage of one of the arteries. But there's lots of other reasons for having a stroke. For instance, in, in young people, we often see what's called a dissection, where the carotid artery, either from trauma or just naturally separates, the lining separates out and blocks part of the artery. And it has the same effect where the blood supply to the brain is compromised. We also see it in things called vasculitis, where you get inflammation. People with certain diseases like lupus or arthritis can have an inflamed artery. And, you know, and, and bleeds into the brain can, have this, can present the same way as a stroke, too. A big part of Denny Morrison's personal history has been quite open about it. He had a very bad motorcycle accident mm -hmm. almost exactly a year ago. That wouldn't immediately spring to mind for you as a cause of a stroke a year later. No, it seems kind of remote to me. I've never seen that personally. I, I suppose it's possible, but usually it's kind of immediate. We see it. Hockey players get hit in the neck and a day later develop symptoms of a stroke, or people have bad car accidents, or, you know, such, or just, just wrench their neck the wrong way, and, and unfortunately the blood vessels are at risk, and that happens. At the eMERGE at, at St. Paul's, you see a stroke patient, what, every couple of days? Probably, yeah, probably one every at least every couple of days yes. and and the key is and i mean i think you know if, if for no other reason an important part of you being here today yes. is to let people know speed is of the essence absolutely they say they say time is brain with strokes and it's so important if you're having symptoms of a stroke you should call or you think you are you should call 911 right away the problem is a lot of people confuse vague symptoms for stroke strokes don't usually present with headaches or dizziness or numbness all over. But they do present with weakness or numbness on one side of the body with problems with speech, with discoordination. We're looking now at uh, what's on the back of every ambulance here in British yeah. Columbia to get that message, right? Yeah, absolutely. But it's so vital Ian, because there's only a certain window that we can intervene in medicine and to try to break up the clot and to re-perfuse, re to get blood back to the brain. Because after a couple hours, it dies. And then your only hope is for rehabilitation after that. But if you get there early enough and there's opportunities for certain clot buster agents or the radiologists can do certain interventions where they can op open up the artery. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you on those symptoms. Fast is on the back of the ambulances yeah. here. So uh, droop, uh, facial drooping, I yep. guess, uh, arm weakness, slurred speech. Yep. And then the T is for time. Absolutely. Right. Or, or difficulty speaking. Often people who are having a stroke can't find the right words. Um, they know what they want to say, they just can't say them. So that's a very important symptom to recognize. Well, good for everybody to keep fast in mind. Dr. Calla, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks.